Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to talk about something because the date is coming up. For those of you that don't know, 10 years ago, from January 29th, 2024, 10 years ago from that date, that's upcoming, I created a YouTube channel called James E-Life. I used to make a lot of brony content. I played Amnesia custom stories that had to do with MLP. I used to do a bunch of things. I used to play horror games. I used to do this. I used to do that. Don't get me wrong. I still do it on this channel, but it was way different back then. January 29th, 2024. When it becomes that 10 year anniversary from when I made my first ever YouTube channel that I owned, I'm changing the channel name of this channel back to James E Life. It's approaching and fast. Oh, excuse me. But a lot of you don't know how James E life was. That's because I deleted it. Now let me explain why I deleted it first, right? The first thing is um I didn't know how to accept hate at the time. Back then there was a YouTube video. It was a Gmod video of dudes just torturing ponies. It was a brony hate channel. And I took the bait. I was a dumb 13-year-old kid who didn't know any better. I commented, not Fluttershy. No. All the people just started coming and going and just blowing the fuck up on my channel. And were complete assholes. Constantly dislike bombing my content. Creating a bunch of comments. There was even a YouTube channel called James E Life Hater at one point. Now the funny thing is, I know who did it, but they're a lot different from how they were back then, and they're actually quite cool with me now, which is shocking because it really shows I'm not willing to hold grudges like that. <laughs> but I didn't know how to accept hate at the time, and I ended up deleting that channel. I probably would have been way further than what I am now if I would have kept that channel. Because that would have been over 10 years worth of content. At least on a positive note, I have three to four here. When I created James E Life, it was on a really shitty laptop. A really, really shitty laptop. And my dad got it for me because he was scrapping. And if you don't know what scrapping is... It's basically dumpster diving. You can either find metal and scrap it and turn it in for money, like aluminum, wires, copper, bronze, uh, all these different kinds of metals and stuff like that, aluminum, and you can make money from them, or you can find damaged goods or things that are in perfect condition and keep them, repair them, or just use them as it is. It's surprising how many good things you'll find in dumpsters. My dad taught me that. I don't dumpster dive now, mainly because it, that's not something I'm interested in really doing. But I respect my dad for doing it, because if it wasn't for him doing it, I would have never been a YouTuber in the first place. Well, actually, I would have. I had two past channels before that that are still existent to this day, but they were never really my channels. I just uploaded on them. But on that channel, I created James E. Life on January 29th, 2014. I used to watch a lot of YouTubers like Shane Dawson, Shannon McCalm. I still watch Markiplier quite a bit, and all these other YouTubers and this and that. Um, it started off with a really shitty screen recorder. It was just a really generic one I found, and I think it might have even been a virus, but it still recorded the screen fine. But every time I tried recording, it would lag my computer so bad. I remember I made a video on Smile.exe. I believe that's what it's called. And when I played Smile.exe, my whole computer crashed. <laughs> <laughs> while I was trying to record it with Bandicam, because I was using Bandicam at the time too. Um, eventually down the line, I went from Bandicam to Fraps. I used the unregistered version of Fraps. It was interesting. I had to like do a shit ton more editing because I could only record like 30 second intervals or 30 second clips. Not only that, uh, before I started using Fraps and I started using Bandicam consistently, there was a period on James E. Life where I would sit in front of a computer with a little tablet pointed up like this, just like this, and I would be recording it like this, 
and it would be super shittily recorded, but I still made videos like that and I uploaded them. I remember I made a Mario Kart video playing Mario Kart, I, Amnesia to Dark Descent. I started off with that series doing that. Um, basically, that's just how that went. <laughs> But I started using Fraps, and I made videos on Portal 2, Amnesia to Dark Descent, uh, and I started playing a bunch more horror games, and it kind of just went on. And I have proof that James E. Life does exist, because on Wistful Deer's channel, there's a part of one of his Skype videos where he actually looks at James E. Life, and he scrolls down, and he sees James E. Life for what it was. It's whole glory from, like, summertime going back. Because I think it was in the summer that video was recorded. After that, um, things just kind of went on like normal. I would upload a lot. But I also got grounded a lot as a kid because I did really bad in school and I had a really bad attitude problem. So I got grounded a lot. So there were a lot of periods on that channel I couldn't upload. And there was even a period in October of 2014 where... I stopped uh, doing gaming altogether and just started uploading copyrighted music. And if that would have stuck, James E. Life would have still been here, but it would have been a completely different type of James E. Life. It would have been based on just music uploads, which wouldn't even belong to me. <laughs> but I remember I got a comment from somebody saying that they were probably going to unsubscribe because of the change of content. And not only that, that the music that I was uploading just wasn't for them, but they appreciated all the videos that I made before. And that's kind of what snapped me back into making this type of content that I've been making now. Although I think my um, choice of content creation has gotten a lot better because I still do gaming. Just, I got a lot better when it comes to recording it. I got better when it comes to commentary. I got better when it comes to um, editing in general. Back then, I wasn't that great at editing, but I, I did some stuff. I remember I used to use Windows Movie Maker as my editor, and I used that for the longest time, even just because it was super easy to use. Unfortunately, I don't use it now. Maybe it's not even an unfortunate thing. Maybe it's a fortunate thing. But now I use Movavi Video Editor. Uh, I believe the 2020 something edition. I don't remember, but I really like my editor. It gets the job done and there's a lot of effects that I can do too. Um, basically January of 2015 came around and all that shit happened around my one year anniversary. I commented on that video, got hate on everybody started shitting on my channel and I ended up deleting it. I'm here to take that back. Now here's what I'm going to tell everyone. I'm going to keep it 100% plain and simple. James E. Life will only be here for a year. From January 29th, 2014. January 29th, 2024 until January 29th, 2025. Now, I'm going to keep it 100% with all of you. That's right. This is my plan. James E. Life has a possibility to stay. But there has to be something that's met. In order for James E. Life to stay, I have to make a goal. I have not decided what that goal is as of right now. I have not. But I will figure that out when I upload on January 29th, 2024 and James E. Life comes back. Now, there is one thing I'm going to mention as well. I'm going to try to recreate a lot of content that I made from 2020, 2024. God damn it. From 2014. I have a lot of games that I played that I looked for on the internet that I downloaded so I can finally play them again. But have a 2024 twist on them. That's right. Now, to be honest, I wanted James E. Life to be exactly like how it was in 2014. But I had a realization. Things are different now from how they were then. I can't just go based off of nostalgia 100%. I'm quite happy making the type of content that I make now. I'm happy with my vlog videos. I'm happy with the MLP horror videos I've been making that all of you love. And they will continue. I promise you that. Because after that got started and all of you guys love it so much. Oh, you can bet your asses I'm going to keep on forcing 
or keep on not really forcing. It's not really forcing if I'm enjoying it, am I? I'm going to keep on creating those MLP horror contents that everybody is so intrigued and enjoyed in. I think that's the right word to put in that sentence, except I can never talk when I make these videos. So it just sounds like garbage. And at this point, I just don't really care. I really don't. I'm just here to have a good time and that's it. But yeah, basically James E. Life is about to come back and I will give you guys more information when that video cut gets uploaded. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys later.